There are some seriously badass mothers who really take being moms to another level. Top Lists presents 10 Badass Moms You Won't Believe Actually Exist. Number 10. Mina Wilson On September 21, 1989, boxer Tony Wilson was defending his British Light Heavyweight Championship against Steve McCarthy. This, this was Steve McCarthy versus Tony Wilson. And it wasn't going well. Unable to watch, Wilson's mother, Mina, jumped into the ring and bashed McCarthy with her high heel shoe. The resulting head wound was so bad that McCarthy quit the fight. When a rematch was scheduled, Mina promised not to attend. I will never go back to one of Tony's fights, she said. There was no need. She'd already put the fear of mom into McCarthy. On the day of the rematch, he withdrew, citing the flu. Number 9. Mindy Tran after strapping her twin daughters in the back seat of her car, 22-year-old mother Mindy Tran decided to check the lock on the front door of her home in Massachusetts. When she turned around, she saw her car rolling down a steep driveway into oncoming traffic. Her first instinct was to stop the car by jumping behind it and to start pushing. When that didn't work, Tran threw herself on the ground to slow the car. She said, I had to use myself as a speed bump to slow it down enough for one of the neighbors to get in and completely stop the car. With the neighbor's help, the brave mother managed to stop the car but crushed one of her legs and dislocated the other in the process. Number 8. Liz Joyce A mother has to make many sacrifices for her children, but this mother gave the ultimate sacrifice, her life. Liz Joyce was diagnosed with a malignant tumor in 2010. She went through surgery and four rounds of chemo and eventually was declared cancer-free. Joyce defied the odds by becoming pregnant in the summer of 2013. Only one month later, the mother-to-be and her husband were told that the cancer had returned. They were faced with a difficult dilemma, abort the child and begin treatment or delay treatment to protect their unborn baby. Having a child meant everything to Joyce and she knew this might be her only chance. Though doctors removed the mass, they weren't able to do a full MRI because of the baby and couldn't tell if the cancer had spread. Though Joyce was due in March 2014, she delivered their baby girl, Lily, in January. Sadly, the cancer had indeed spread, and Joyce succumbed to cancer in March 2014, with her husband and baby daughter by her side. But her legacy lives on thanks to iPad video footage Joyce's husband took during her pregnancy. Number 7. Emily Breeze Watson Emily Watson is a controversial figure among mothers. While most pregnant women take maternity leave, relax, demand chocolate, Emily has been hitting the gym hard. A high-intensity workout trainer, Watson received criticism for grueling workouts deep into her third trimester. She could be seen running hills and stairs on her Instagram just two days before delivery. Watson argues that these workouts were not for insta-fame or vain reasons, Rather, she wanted to maintain a healthy lifestyle for the entire duration of her pregnancy. The good news? Although it was two weeks after her original due date, Emily gave birth to a healthy boy. Number 6. Angela Cavallo On April 9, 1982, Georgia teen Tony Cavallo was working on his Chevy Impala in his driveway when the jack collapsed, pinning him under the car. That's when Tony's mom, Angela, did the superhuman. The 50-something woman lifted the 3,500-pound vehicle four inches and held it for about five minutes as two neighbors dragged her son to safety. Scientists have a hard time recreating such adrenaline-filled feats in the lab, but Angela's hysterical strength does seem to prove that a mother's love knows no bounds. Number 5. Ginny Quiles. This one is truly miraculous. In 2014, Julie Quiles of St. Petersburg, Florida was hit by a tow truck on her way to visit her doctor. In shielding her womb from the impact, she exposed her head and suffered a traumatic brain injury. She went into a coma as a result of the accident and remained in one, that is, until her baby decided it was time to be born. Amazingly, labor brought Quiles out of her coma and she was able to give birth to a healthy baby girl she named Angel. After the birth, doctors said she immediately began to improve significantly and hypothesized that now that her body wasn't having to provide for two, she was healing much more quickly. Number 4. Shanda Zapata Shanda Zapata, a mother of four, has survived two rounds of cancer. 
but must now pay off $800,000 in medical bills. Luckily for Shonda, she loves trouble and started working as a bounty hunter. I chose this job because I get to help people and sort of be a badass. You heard that right. Armed with a Smith & Wesson pistol, assault rifles, and extensive Krav Maga training, Shonda and her team prowl the night looking for anyone from Mexican Mafia members to child molesters. She hasn't quit even after being shot at, lunged at with a knife, attacked by pit bulls, and even having drug dealers throwing needles at her like darts. Number 3. Carolina Chirinza in the summer of 2000, expectant mother Carolina Chirinza's town of Chibure in Mozambique experienced widespread flooding, turning it into a crocodile-infested lake. Chirinza was forced to climb a tree to avoid crocodiles. For four days, she stayed in the tree and gave birth to her daughter, Rosita, on the fourth day. A South African military helicopter rescued both mother and daughter shortly thereafter. She said, I had no food or water. I was feeling dizzy and I was scared I would fall into the waters and drown. I still have nightmares of Rosita tumbling into the rivers running beneath our feet and being dragged away from me. I still can't believe we both survived to tell our story. Number 2. Inez Ramirez Perez In a story that can make anyone wince in pain and disbelief, Inez Ramirez of Mexico sliced open her own abdomen and uterus to deliver her own son by C-section. Her town in Mexico only had one phone at the time, and her husband was out when she went into labor. Seeing no other way to save her baby's life, she took a kitchen knife, downed two swigs of alcohol, and spent an hour performing the procedure on herself. She fished around through her organs and pulled out a healthy, crying baby. She later underwent several surgeries in the hospital to rearrange her insides, but Amazingly, she had no serious injury or infection, and doctors were astonished that she was still conscious. Number 1. You. Yes, you. Because being a mom is the ultimate sacrifice. You don't have to make the papers to make history. You are creating it every day. You did something not everyone in the world can, bear and raise children. That in itself is remarkably badass. Let us know which mom impressed you most down below in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe while you're here and check out some other cool videos you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.